Hi, and welcome to 5 Minute Features. Today, we'll be covering the basics of the auto serialization tool to demonstrate how you can generate sequential letters and numbers in Flexi 19. So, our first example is going to be how I can generate a lot of sequential numbers with just one click of a button. So, first of all, I'm going to type my placeholder number. It's important that I format this number as I want the rest of my numbers to be formatted. So any changes I make to the color or to the font will be applied to every number that I generate with the auto serialization tool. So when I'm happy with my placeholder number, I select it and then I go to the arrange and auto serialize tool. So the number of copies is the amount of numbers that it's going to duplicate. The number of columns is simply how my numbers are going to be spaced in columns of five sets of 20. And the column spacing and the row spacing is self-explanatory. So I'm going to select the number that I want to be uh, serialized, select the next button and select the auto serialize button. In this case, I want to serialize numerically starting at one with an increment of one. So I press OK and finish and voila, the number 1 to 100 have been generated with the same formatting as my source number. So now let's look at a more practical example of how you can use the auto serialization. So let's say I want to make some uh, labels. I'm going to draw a square. I'm going to select a colour. Let's say we want some rounded corners on it, for example. And then I'm going to come to the Effects tab, make an outline like this, red is OK. And then I want to print and cut this, so I'm also going to add a cut contour through the Effects and the Cut Contour tab. We're going to make sure it's right on our line, like so. And there we are. So I'm going to add my text placeholder, an A, but I, I want the font for my A to be different. So I'm going to come to the character tab and change the font to something else, like so. And the color will make it white. And I want all of my letters to be centered. So I'm going to use the align center button. Now, I want to add a number. Let's start with 100. I'm going to move this over to the left and then check the left alignment option. Again, I'm going to change my color to a nice sky blue and my font to something else. Okay, so now I'm going to select my whole design, including my cut contour, my background, and my outline, and my two text options. Then I'm going to come to the Arrange, Auto Serialize tab. Now this time, I only want 20 copies. We will leave the columns, but we see I now have two items that can be replaced, referring to my two placeholder texts. So if I go to Next, I have two columns here for auto serialization. My letters, I'm going to simply select character, starting with A in an increment of one, and it's going to fill the letters of the alphabet with an increment of one number to one letter from one through to 20. Now, if I select my second column and auto serialize, I want it to be numeric starting with 100 and going up in an increment of 2 like so and we'll see it goes from 100 to 138 like that and when I select finish we'll see that not only my letter and my number have been duplicated but also my background and my cut contour as well this is how you can easily create 
stickers and labels for print and cut using the auto serialization. Thank you for joining us for 5 minute features. Please join us next time for our advanced auto serialization. And let us know in the comment section if there's a feature that you would like covered in this series.